dear students welcome to the second part of the introduction to adrian rich's poem snapshots of a daughter in law for this series of lectures i have used a scholarly article by one mr jeevan kumar and i've used this article as to for the basic information or the basic interpretation and i will be giving my own puts and my own interpretation along with it so first of all uh, the poem is divided into 10 sections and its interpretation can begin even in the title the title snapshots suggest carelessly taken photographs of family members at unguarded moments like on your left you can see i've used some i've taken some photographs from the internet where you see the uh, women of different ages uh, posing and uh, these are not exactly studio photographs but uh, these are kinds of photographs which are there to capture some kind of a moment a random kind of a moment or maybe a meeting or a special moment but uh, we all all families have such photographs so it's it's not particularly a made up kind of thing so these are random photographs which are there in the title uh, they have none of the studied formality of photographs taken in a studio or by a professional photographer that we can see here so daughter in law is an intriguing term here mr jeevan kumar points out that daughter in law is an intriguing term because uh, the relationship particularly between a daughter in law and a mother in law is uh, uh, is a very special one for instance uh the focus of the poem if if it was rather than on the sister or a daughter or numerous other female roles uh then in that case the opposition between the young woman and her mother in law uh would not have presented an effective vehicle for comparing the status of women in their respective ages what particularly uh, he means by this is that that in other roles women have a different kind of relationship but within uh, a daughter in law and a mother in law um, it's a very at times it can be a very complex relationship because the daughter in law is new she is settling down and the mother in law is uh, has is all is in her old age and she's already settled so there is a kind of uh, struggle for uh, power also within the household uh, the that takes that, that takes place in fact in india you see all these soap operas that are built around families i have uh, this relationship sas bahu daughter in law and mother in law at the center so and they are depicted in as many colors as possible in representing generational disparity with the mother in law and daughter in law relationship however rich establishes the connection between her women through their relations with men namely the son and husband in other words through the example of a female relationship that is the product of interaction with men rich effectively demonstrates the magnitude of the male influence over the lives and even the relations between women uh, women female slavery according to mary allen sonderland uh, this statement she made in 2012 through snapshots of a daughter in law rich gained national prominence in part because of the accomplishment of her lyric voice uh, mostly in free verse and in part because of her treatment of feminist related themes now what is it when uh, somebody would call it a feminist related themes now in this relationship this is, there is a there is it forms a very interesting kind of a triangle that that is there between the mother in law the daughter in law and the son or in other words the husband now uh, in ways now imagine women who stay at home and are not going uh, and are not working women as such so for a mother in law uh, keeping a hold on her son in some kind of way is is important and a daughter in law uh, uh, wants to keep her hold in her own way and this whole triangle 
it it becomes a very interesting um, interesting kind of complex web of relationships small gestures small moments whereby you know both women they would see that what side is taken by men so in this relationship you can closely understand where uh, how relationship with men influences the behavior of women uh, just to give you an idea about the general crux of the poem in the next lectures we will take up the poem stanza by stanza and discuss it i would like to draw your attention to the quote from edwin rich which i put on the right side of the slide she says the worker can unionize go out on strike mothers are divided from each other in homes tied to the children by compassionate bonds our wild cat strikes have most often taken the form of physical or mental breakdown now these are really uh, deep words really deep words in the sense that you know while men have this if they have some kind of a trouble if they have some kind of issues of their own they can take to the streets but for women it's not that easy and very often it turns out that the fight goes on uh, between women uh, for different kinds of things and uh, and it becomes a very internal kind of fight where they they by you know, where where by you know they they have to face physical or mental trauma so the line of difference even when sonto lin sang says that she talks about this feminist related themes it's very very clear that uh, adrian rich speaks from the perspective of women in a very insightful way thank you